What one day, one day I'll stop having to ask this question, but how the fuck did we get here? <laughs> how did, the days how go did we? <laughs> oh, Lex and I were insulting each other and then someone said kiss. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck no, you, Lux. And the <laughs> days go by. I mean <laughs> not even that, just how how did we survive this long? <laughs> Games? Me. I mean Myth Friend. and Lux is Friend. there Rowan's what's countrymen. what's yeah, no, what's the shit made for Luximus and Myth? Uh, and by that, I mean Luximus? friendship. Luximus? Luximus. I don't, I don't there we go, Luximus. That'll like work, yeah. Name. I think yeah, that's no. our fusion name. Yeah, Luximus Lux is our fusion name. Mythimus is our ship name. <laughs> Myth. <Okay. laughs> well, Alright. It could go both ways, really. I thought it might have been something with bean in it, but okay. But yeah, no. Mythimus, no. I ship it. I I'm straight, but... I mean, you you I'll could ship the actual two couples. I mean, there is that one picture of us that I drew. Yeah, but Ninja never really goes in here. No, yeah. he doesn't. No. He's busy being cool. He's busy working at a big game He's company. He's busy and doing the career he actually wants to be cute. working Dude, in. Dude, he actually, he actually signed himself up for, like, a gym. So he's working out now. Oh, Dude, fuck. they have gyms in England? Yep! Of course yes, they would! Are you serious? Wait, I thought they just I've said I've never heard an English in. person actually say they went to a gym. I didn't go to, I'm going to the gym. I'm not being serious, but I uh, have never heard someone say that. I think I'm okay. more surprised that they called the gym the same thing. You know, because mm -hmm. sometimes actually, in the UK they have different, well, I mean, different I mean, words. Like, I yeah. mean, American is like, the US and the UK don't have everything different. It's like just minor things, very unimportant. What do you call things, cookies? Cookies. Cookies? What do you call elevators? Well, I mean, we have cookies, but we also have biscuits. That are kind you of also like don't cookies. call them fries, you call them chips. Yeah, yeah. You call <laughs> elevators lifts, you call apartments flats. You call umbrellas You call semis call, lorries. I call, I call elevators elevators. You call policemen uh, police You as in English people, not you specifically. Oh, right. Crazy Your countrymen. Crazy people, crazy people. Crazy I could be a real uh, asshole right now and stereotype the fuck out of England right now. Remember uh, that one time where Ninja went out to go find uh, what he thought was a brawly, but it was really an umbrella, and he was in the middle of Baltimore, and it was raining, and everyone was already inside the convention I remember center. that, and I will nope. never forget that. That was just an unexpected <laughs> storm just happening. <laughs> Dedicated to man! At that moment, I knew he was the one. <laughs> Dedicated man. <laughs> when he was catching pneumonia outside in the rain, we knew he was the one. He wasn't mm -hmm. catching pneumonia. He, it's no, expressive. He was rain. No, he He's was catching me. Expressive <laughs> language. Golden. He was catching my heart. He was in the oh. element out there. It's he like, fun, it's like funnily enough, when I say I'm having a heart attack catching or a conniption, pneumonia, no, I'm not actually having a heart attack or a conniption. It's expressive language. He wasn't actually getting pneumonia. I'm glad that you know the word conniption. It's like, I, I've heard, it's like, I think I heard conniption in here. In fact, I think... It's like, I think I heard conniption from Sola. I mean, I say it too. Yeah. Ehoo. Hi, Solar. Hi. Oh, I said hi. Wait, do I need... Oh, I bounced out. Oh, I'm dead. Bruh, I need a prawn suit. On your... We'll get that prawn suit, bro. What are you gonna call the prawn suit? What do I do with the prawn suit? What are you gonna call the prawn suit? Um, the pawn shop. The prawn shop. shop. Oh, no. Oh, no, the pawn shop. I named my sea. I I named my sea moth. We go. We go. <laughs> we go. We go. We go. Oh no! Ah! Oh! Oh no! Yeah, we I go. hate this stage and the boss. <laughs> Oh. All right, so I pick up Chrissy at eight fifteen. All right, so at eight o'clock, it'll be a little commercial break or a break. Sorry, I, I don't know why. Say, eight o'clock. I'm scared. Well, you are a natural phenomena. <laughs> she got it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Someone saw. <laughs> Yay! I get the jewel. Luscious, the queen of memes. Of course, she gets it. Well, I. 
That's a movie reference. I feel reference. like I, I don't want to brag, but I feel like I'm one of the few people in our entire group that have actually seen like a large plethora of movies. No, uh, oh, including oh, some like, '80s and '80s. Yeah, classic movies. Except, I will admit, except stuff like you know Terminator and Alien. I haven't seen those. Well, is that because you're not into them? Yeah, I'm not. Okay, that well, that's far. fair. I'm not gonna pass okay. judgment on you for that. Yeah. No, because I remember I, I, how. But, you know, that's still a classic, though. I feel like I need to, you know, say that at least. Need to be studied. Yeah, no, I, I yeah. still remember, you know, like a while back, how Bliss reacted when Ellie was like, I only see the first Terminator. It's like, no, watch T2. That's the better one. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, I lost my shit over that just because. Granted, you really he's, lost he's really... it. <laughs> I really lost my shit, yeah, because, only because, had a yeah, nip. those are my two, Aliens and Terminator 2, both sequels, both made by the same director, they're my favorite movies of all time. The I have sequels. a very personal bias to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the and third and onwards were trash. I have a personal yeah, bias about those. towards uh, Lord of the Rings, just because I grew up with those most. And Ellie had a valid reason, even though I blew my shit up over at one point, but it was really all just for playing up for fun and jokes. But, um, yeah. she doesn't like horror movies or sci-fi movies, sci-fi horror, so that makes sense. And that's kind of what yeah. the first Terminator was. It was more sci-fi horror, whereas the second yeah. one was more action-based. I hate this fucking level. It was sci-fi action, slight hints of horror in it. Just it probably I'll have to look up. It probably like, didn't I heard help horror, not horror. That. Yeah, I've yeah, been hearing yeah. horror this whole time. Horror. Yeah. It is horror. Yeah, it is no, horror. No, he said- they thought you said <laughs> horror. Like oh. a hooker. It's another accent. Well, y'all are nasty and you get your heads out of the gutter. <laughs> You're like, uh, them apples and cheeks. Bliss, you act <laughs> like- you <laughs> act like this is news to you. Yeah. It's not. Well, well, for me- yeah, no. for me, it's- 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 sound- no, it produced oh, like it. horror. It is horror. It sounds like vor. We're, we're all Midwesterners. We know that we pronounce mirror and horror with only one R. Mirror. Mirror and horror. I need some mirror. They want to have a mirror. Also, fucking as for the as for the heads in the gutter thing, I find the world's a lot funnier with my head in the gutter. So I'm gonna kind of keep it here if it's all the same here. Right, uh, no somebody, nice. somebody uh, mentioned in the it gets you. Somebody mentioned in the chat in an absolute another ironclad classic of the '80s. Robo fucking cop. Robo. Oh, Robocop is one of Lars' favorites. Robo I didn't. Not that one. I'd buy that it. for a dollar. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Oh my god. I think I, I think I saw the more recent Robocop movie. Oh um, no. It, which probably speaks to its quality. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's, it's still weird. No, you want, like 80s, you want 80s. You want 80s sci-fi cheese. Where gore is up the wazoo and cussing, they don't give a crap. They also, the practical any, effects. Like, rules. Also, the practical, the practical effects, effects are so ambitious, and I love it. I love that they were using stop motion, especially on Ed Two Hundred Nine. Also, mm, old Hollywood eighties movies. Mm. It works. Yep. It works for it what does. they were doing. Yeah. Plus, we're she, double cop all stars. Red Foreman. Sometimes. Damn it! Oh, Red died. Foreman. I don't know. One of my personal favorite '80s movies is Bill and Ted. Golden is just like excellent. Old. Yeah. It's one of my, my favorite ones. Is, I, I mean, I can't aside from the the already obvious ones labeled. Um, uh, I mean, when I think of something classic, something I know I used to watch with my mom and, and my sisters back from Wee. like the early '90s. Uh, but it was from the '80s. Uh, Dirty Dancing. Okay. That's now that song's in my head. She's like the rain. Yeah, well, it hit me too. <laughs> <laughs> was it a different one for you? Uh, yeah, it was. Like it was different. Of, like, hey, hey, in the hey, baby, I wanna, I wanna know, know. Whoa, if you'll be, if you'll be my, my girl. girl. <laughs> See, for no. me, it was just a fool to believe I have anything she needs. She's like the wind. Yeah. Also, well, golden stop. Like, yes, logic. Also, golden stop. Like, stop diving for every hole you'll see, you'll get arrested. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll try not to break the law here when I'm going at an unusually fast pace. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> you do. That's nice, you do. 
Don't you know? Oh! <gasps> Fight! Oh no! 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 Damn it! Again. <laughs> Again. Oh, oh no! Time. For a second, I thought it was at the last bit. It was like, nope. There's a little more. It's like, ah, oh, god damn it! Uh, you teased me, game. Uncontrollable. He just is like my dude here. He's uncontrollable. He sees a hole and he just jumps. Like, give me some other classics. Oh well, Back to the Future. That's always a classic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Back to the Future. Oh, okay. Okay. I have a question. Yes. No. Okay. I have Has a any of, okay, have any of you guys heard or seen this movie called Little Monsters? Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe. I liked it. I think I recognize the name, but I, I don't think I've seen it. I liked yeah, it as I a kid. The name. By the time I was a teen, <gasps> I was over it. Um, kid goes it through. Damn it! I told you to jump. Is a world of monsters. Yeah, it had uh. Howie Mandel in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. here's one that not many people know about. Um. And I think it's got the same actor. Um, oh. What? It's uh, called Cloak and Dagger. Cloak and Dagger. Okay, I haven't heard of it. Yeah, look that. Yeah, look that one up. It's about two kids, and one of them actually discovers and witnesses a murder, and unravels a really big mystery where the murder is surrounded by spies, oh. and he's basically helped by his um, imaginary friend, who is Jack from a video game. Wait a second. Cloak and Dagger. I think I know what this is. Does he have an action yeah. figure? Uh, yes. I remember this now. Like, I've seen a nerd who's able to play the game. He got shot in the head. Yep. That shit got intense. Yeah, that shit got real, real fast. Jurassic Holy crap. In the 90s, though. What, what makes me kind of happy, and just, just tooting my own, ho own horn here, is that this Great. takes place in Texas, in San Antonio. Huh. And um, hmm. the, the 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 actor who plays the dad of the son, the, the main character, mm -hmm. he actually looks a lot like my stepdad. It's funny. <laughs> I keep no. thinking Gary. Hi, Gary. Because he is you your stepdad. Here? Damn it! <sighs> uh, Golden, did you say you had to go somewhere at eight? Uh, yeah. Right now it's seven fifty-five. Oh. Come on, get best. me through this fucking part of the stage. I used to be better at this. Crime any. You guys ever seen Twister? Think yeah. Twister? You got it, man. Twister's good. I love that movie. I don't I care what I, I I don't care what nostalgia could accept. That movie was awesome. It was fun to watch. I, I watched it again recently and I was like, oh my god, these effects are so fucking stupid. <laughs> I don't yeah. like no, like, I, I like saw that story. review and I'm I like... the movie. It was just, the, the effects were really obvious this time around. And it was just like, oh, oh no, I can't yeah. get immersed in this now. So what were you saying, Goldie? No, I was just saying, like, I could never understand what the hatred was with Twister. Because, like, Kev characters are like, oh, they're so annoying. It's like, I didn't find them annoying. You're annoying. I mean, yeah, I will agree with some pointers like them getting sucked up to the twister and not dying. I call bullshit on that, but other that's, than that... Um, that's what adds... It's like, just, it, it's like speed. It doesn't matter how fucking unrealistic it is. It's still po like adrenaline pumping. I mean, like, exactly. I've, heard, I've heard more bizarre stories of people surviving in a twister than that, but anyway. Um, True. Um, what sure. really pissed me off and made me roll my eyes because it's like clearly you've never been in a tornado before uh, was they like the nostalgia critic mm. kept complaining that why are the tornadoes roaring? It sounds like an animal roaring. And I'm like because a lot of people describe tornadoes because sounding the like wind freight roars. trains. Yeah, they yeah. Really yeah. Loud wind yeah. before. Imagine a fuck ton of that spinning in circles. Yeah, yeah. that's why. Mm -hmm. Clearly, like... a nostalgia critic has never lived in the Midwest. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. 